All right, everyone, I am going to do a full dem demonstration of my new telescope. Uh, it's a Celestron Edge HD 925 on a C-Gem mount. Uh, it is a schmidt Cassegrain design, which means it uses a combination of mirrors and lenses for its optical system. It is, uh, the, the 925 stands for uh, the size of the aperture it's a nine and a quarter inch wide telescope and I'm just gonna give a rundown of my gear and and the alignment process and down here we have the power tank which supplies the power to the scope the counterweights uh, here is the mount uh, and the hand controller uh, this is my Wi-Fi adapter so I can broadcast it can broadcast its own uh, Wi-Fi signal when I'm out in the field. I can control it with my tablet or my phone. And I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, here's the latitude scale. So we're right about right around 40 degrees north. And up here we have the dew shield, which prevents uh, dew from forming on on the scope when I'm outside. Never mind that it's upside down. It's actually an Astro Zap. Uh, here's my guide scope, which is uh, which comes into play when I'm doing astrophotography, along with the auto guider, which you see here. And this particular auto guider allows for uh, guiding without the use of a laptop when you're outside. Uh, on the side here, we have the vents, the cooling vents, which is a a new design for for the uh, Schmidt Casgrain by Celestron, which allows for the hot air to escape from behind the primary mirror to uh, allow for cooling. Uh, to, it allows the uh, scope to cool faster. Here is the 19 millimeter eyepiece. It's a two inch barrel. Uh, oh, over here we have the, the mirror locks, which prevents the mirror from shifting during astro imaging. Uh, here's the focus knob and here is the corrector reducer which allows for a wider field of view during astro imaging. This is a separate add-on. This does not come with the scope. And here's the default finder scope. So we'll go over the alignment process now and we'll turn it on. packages and we're ready so moving the index moving the mount to both index markers as indicated here and then put in the time let's see it's 12:48 12:48 PM. Yes, Eastern. Say date, and we'll do a two-star alignment, and it's calculating. You can actually hear it warming up, and we'll begin the slew to our Taurus. Now, keep in mind this is just a blind alignment, just to show you how everything works. And it assumes that we have the object in the scope, so we'll just press enter and align. And it's going to tell me to select my second star. And we'll just continue to Vega. And I 
Okay, we'll do a default confirmation. And we'll do a calibration star. I love watching this thing move. So cool. It's my own personal observatory. So confirmed, we'll confirm Altair. Anyone should, uh, my friend should be familiar with that name, that he was the main character in the first Assassin's Creed game. It's calibrating. And we'll say Calibration star. Yes. Oh. And we'll go to the Neb for another calibration star. Not too far off. calibration stars the better your alignment and align success and now we would be ready for our nighttime observing session now also what I wanted to demonstrate was uh, how I control oops give me a minute how I control the telescope with my tablet and the app First things first, I have to uh, go to my settings. I have to turn off. Actually, I can just find it. It's already broadcasting, so you'll see here it says Celestron 2B, and that's th the telescope. So I would use that and tell it to connect. And it's connecting. And so then, once that's done, I'll find my Sky Portal app, which is free. Sorry, it's a little blurry. Try to get it away. So now we'll tell it to connect. Let's see if I can change this on so I'm not, my reflection isn't showing too much. Let's tell it to connect. Always fails the first time. I do not know why I see connect in a line. And there we go. So now that it's connected to the app, and that this indicator here is where the telescope is pointed, so as of right now, it's pointing at Polaris or locked onto the North Star or near the North Star as indicated by the scope's position. Wants me to tap on an object in the eastern half of the sky for for align for an alignment. If you if you're going to use the app, you also have to oops, you have to uh, align it using the app instead of the hand set. So where is my compass? Not sure how well you can see this. And you know what? Forget this. Sorry, having a bit of a mix up here. 
trying to gain Alright, let's just tell it to slew to Jupiter. No, I can't tell it to slew to Jupiter because I don't know where Jupiter is right now. So I'm pointing at Polaris. So let's just tell it to go to somewhere that I'm familiar with and a name that I can pronounce. Ah, Mizar. We'll go to Mizar in Great Bear, also known as the Big Dipper. As you can see the pattern here, look, there's the dipper. So we'll tell, we'll choose Mizar. And we'll tell it to go there, and we'll hit OK, and then the scope will move. Oh, it wants the eastern half. I'm sorry. If you would give me my compass, maybe I would know where the heck I am. Fine, we'll go somewhere in the eastern half. Why are you pointing straight up? See, this would really help if I could just find my compass, and I can't. Frustrating. Can I go to Canopus? Nope. This green line that you see on the screen, by the way, is known as the meridian. It's an imaginary line which separates the... Uh, North and southern parts, portions of the sky, as well as the eastern and western portions. See, anything in camouflage. HR 2209. Can we go there? Yes, we can. So, as you see, I selected a star on the app and the scope moved. Sorry that took so long, but had a little bit of a directional problem and it's locking onto the object as indicated there. And we'll send it back to Polaris just if we can. Hit a line. No. There we go. Oops. I guess it didn't really take it that long. It wasn't that far off so I didn't have that far to go. Okay, so that's, that's basically everything and how the telescope operates and that's my new scope for you. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching this. Sorry I struggled through the, the app portion of it. But looking forward to getting out with it and learning everything and taking better pictures for all of you. Uh, right now, what I need is a more cooperative sky. Because so far the weather has been awful since I've had this thing. And I've only taken it out briefly to um, do a rough alignment of the finder scope, which wasn't too successful, so I need to... I need more time and I need a bigger uh, section of the sky to look at because my viewing location here isn't too great. But I may do with the best I can. Alright everyone, thank you and as I said, I look forward to uh, taking newer, better images for all of you and sharing them with you.